go over how to download the PASS software and how to set it up and talk about the writing with icons uh, capability. So this is the link that I'll send you. This takes you to the PRC's website. We're gonna scroll down and go to the second option, which is new voice pass software installation for all Accent products. You'll click agree and then download. Uh, usually it takes around 15 to 20 minutes for the software to actually download. I've already have it down here, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like once it's downloaded. It's gonna open up. Okay, you're gonna click next, next. Probably good to create a desktop shortcut, so next, install. And this will put all of the features onto your computer. Okay, it probably would have taken a few minutes. Now it's going to generate icon sets. You'll see the desktop icon right here. It does take a while to initially set up, so you can easily multitask during this process. Okay, uh, you're gonna click finish, and it says finish. I'm gonna launch new voice when I'm finished. Here it goes. So this is what the software looks like. I'm just saying speech is not enabled because it's not registered. We're just gonna say, I don't need speech because that's not what we're using it for. We're just using it for the icons and just to get an idea of what a student's device looks like. And familiarize ourselves with different vocabulary settings. Um, it has everything from word power to lamp to unity. I agree. Um, if you're unfamiliar with what PRC has, you can do explore and see all the different options. I'm going to do choose since I, I know which one I would like to open. Um, you'll see again it has Unity, LAMP, Core Scanner. Uh, I'm going to choose LAMP for now. Um, and you can always go and do vocabulary and change that at a later time. I'm going to choose Lamp Words for Life. This is Lamp Words for Life for visually impairment. Uh, we have one hit, transition, and full. I'm going to choose full. Um, difference meaning one hit, they press an icon one time and it says the word. Transition gets them started on full. Um, most of your students are going to be on full. And we're going to click OK. And that's just asking I load it. So this is why if a student has Lamp, uh, either on their iPad or a personal device or Wake County Loan device, this is what it looks like on startup. So this is all icons showing. Um, to go.
the cutoff there. All right, so this is how we change the vocabulary file. If you know your student is not using LAMP and you would like to explore something else, you'll go under Toolbox, User Area Menu, and switch user area. Say you had a user that was using Unity 60 sequenced. You would click on that, click OK, click OK again, and then here you see the difference. So LAMP had everything all at once, all 84 icons. Unity 60 sequenced has 60 icons per page. The idea is the same. We push an icon, goes to our action man. Um, once again, this won't talk for you, um, but it's good if you're, you know, doing a teletherapy session and you want to have something that the student can see. There's ways that you can either project this or maybe set it up so they can see your screen, share your screen with them. They can see this. We can highlight, you know, with the mouse, uh, with our finger in the video, if you're doing it maybe a different way. So lots of different options you can do um, during some teletherapy. So I'm going to go back under LAMP. So back, pretty easy to go back. Okay, okay. I'm gonna show you how we do the write with icons. So we're gonna go under tools. Or is it vocabulary? Yep, so it's vocabulary. Go under write with icons. So vocabulary, vocabulary display options, write with icons. Um, this will be draw icons actual size, or you can choose a size. I'm just going to leave it how it is for now. Gives you a little background on everything. You don't have to worry about that. Um, if you want to read it, great. If not, you can erase it and just start. So say I was doing a lesson and I knew my words were go. Uh, if I type it and then click enter, it's going to show that sequence for go. And remember, I'm on LAMP 84 full. Uh, so that's the sequence it's going to give me. It might change depending on what area we're doing. But if we're just looking for, you know, this icon to print and cut out, or maybe we are looking for the sequence, it gives you some options here. So I know another word I might want to do is stop, maybe play, more want eat and maybe oops no that so we easily erase it all done so it'll give me if that's the one you want okay so I can take this and I can right click and go up here copy control C once it's copied, you can open up a Word document and just paste them in. This is what it looks like. Uh, you can take away the word if you want. You can move them around, split them apart, make them bigger. If you make them too big, they will start to get a little fuzzy. Um, but there's a lot of different things that you can do with this feature. Pretty cool, cut them out, laminate them, whatever you want. Um, like I said, you could keep the sequence together, or if you're just using one of those words with something, you can take them apart. So that's that, and that's how we would use the Write With Icons feature. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.